Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can write the roll the dice program using the Python programming language. Here in our program, we will mimic the working of a dice where we will display a random number between a range. For example, in a normal dice, the number generated will be between one and six. So here in our program, we will generate the uh, random number between one and six and we will display that to the screen. If the user wants to roll the dice again, then we will display another random number between that range and we will keep on continuing that. So in our program, we have to generate the random number and to do that, what we can do is we can import the uh, random module. So I'm going to import random and then I'm going to define a function for generating the random numbers or mimicking the working of the dies. So I'm going to call this function as roll dies. And this function will have two parameters. And by using these parameters, we can specify the range for which the numbers has to be generated. And I'm going to call these parameters as min and max. In a normal dice, the number generated will be between one and six. So while calling this function, we have to pass in one and six as the arguments. Okay. Now inside this function, what we're going to do is first, we will display a message stating that rolling the dice. So I'm going to use the print function and I'm going to say rolling dice. And after that, we have to generate the random number between the min and max and to generate the random number we can use the rand int function available in the random module so we can call that so it will be random dot rand int and for this rand int function we have to pass in two parameters and this function will generate a random integer in that range and uh, it will include both that uh, starting and end value. So here the values are available to us in this min and max uh, variables. So we can uh, refer that and then we can store that random number generated in a variable. Let's call it as number. Now the next thing that we can do is we can display this number to the user. So I'm going to use the print function and I will format this string and I'm going to say your number and then I'm going to display the value present in this number variable. So I'm going to refer that variable in here. Okay. So now in our program, what we have done is we have generated the random number and we have uh, uh, displayed that to the screen. Now what we can do is we can call this function. So it will be roll dice. And here we need to pass in the range. So it will be, so the number has to be between one and six. And uh, that's it. We have called the function. And if I run this program, we're going to get one. If I run it one more time, we're going to get four. If I run it one more time, we're going to get five. You know, every time when we run this, we will get a different random number. Now, what if the user wants to keep on, you know, generating the uh, random number? And when the user says, I want to stop, you know, we have to stop this program to add that functionality. What we can do is we can use a loop in here. So I'm going to use a while loop inside this function and I'm going to make this while loop as an infinite while loop. So the condition will be always true. And after that, I need to format or, you know, align this code. Okay. Now, uh, we have to add a stopping condition. So at some point this while loop has to stop. And here after printing the random number generated by our program, what we can do is we can ask the user whether you want to roll the dice again. If the user says, no, I don't want to do it, then we will stop. Otherwise we will keep on generating the random number. So what we can do is we can use the input function. And here I'm going to specify the message as do you want to roll the dice again? The user has two options. If he wants to roll the dice again, he can enter Y or if you want to stop it, then he can enter N. And then what we're going to do is we're going to store the user's choice in a variable and I'm going to call it as choice. Now we can check the user's choice and depending on that, we can uh, keep on continue this while loop or we can stop this while loop. So I'm going to use the if conditional statement to check the user's choice. 
if the user has entered n and here before comparing i'm going to convert the user input to lowercase and then i'm going to check whether the user has entered n in that case what we're going to do is we're going to stop this uh, while loop by using the break statement if the user is going to enter any other character other than n the loop will continue and it will uh, roll the dice again and it will generate another number and it will display that to the screen so when the user is going to enter n it will stop the loop now i'm going to save this program and i'm going to run it it says rolling the dice your number is six do you want to roll the dice again I'm going to say Y, it will roll again and it will generate a number again. I'm going to say yes, it will generate one and I'm going to say again, yes, and it will generate three. And now I'm going to say no and it will stop the program. So now here in our program, we can eliminate the use of this number variable. What we can do is we can directly use this uh, random number generated in this print function. So I'm going to get rid of that um, and I'm going to paste it in here. You know, it will work normally. So this is it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. This is how we can write a simple Python program to mimic the working of a dice. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.